Character on Track presents Champions on Track, connecting local champions of character to the classroom. Courage. Today's topic is courage. It takes courage to have character. Today's program is being sponsored by Now, let's meet some of our champions. Uh, I'm Zach Richardson. Some of you guys might know my mom, Mrs. Richardson. She teaches third grade. Um, some activities I'm a part of are football, wrestling, baseball, and National Honor Society. Uh, some things I just love to do. I love to hunt and fish. I really love duck and goose hunting, so maybe some of you guys like to do that. Um, one of my favorite classes to be in is history. I really love to learn about history, especially World War II. And my college plans are just to attend Augustana University, and I'm going to be playing football there. Hi, guys. I'm Seth Peterson. Uh, I really enjoy being involved in sports. I'm in football, wrestling, track, and baseball. I also stay involved outside of sports. I'm in National Honor Society, I'm in BUDS, I'm in band. Uh, one of my favorite uh, subjects is math. It just seems to come a lot easier for me. That's my favorite one. One of the things I most enjoyed going to elementary school was recess. I love playing lightning and playing football. Sometimes it got too rowdy, but it was always fun playing at recess. I'm Rachel Massler, and I like to do cross country, track, girls wrestling. I'm also in band, cheer, and I do the musicals that the school puts on. Um, some of my favorite things I like to do outside of school is I like to go shopping with my friends, hang out with them, and just have a fun time. My favorite memory from elementary school is playing at recess and I used to eat three leaf clovers because I believed that they had flavor. Character on track. What is courage? Courage is doing the right thing, even if it's difficult. It's facing your fears with confidence, being brave. What does courage look like? It's doing the right thing, even if others are not. Bravely dealing with daily challenges. Courage is being willing to try new things, even if you might fail. Courage is telling the truth, even if there are consequences. It's facing fears and working to overcome them, admitting your mistakes and learning from them. And courage is not giving in to negative peer pressure. Who has courage? Certainly teachers and school officials, firefighters, law enforcement, Rosa Parks, Susan B. Anthony, Martin Luther King, people in the military, and even kids with character. Where do I find courage? Believe it or not, it's inside you right now. Being brave is in there. But courage may not always feel like courage. From the outside, it may look powerful and thrilling. Sometimes, from the inside, it can be scary and unpredictable. Courage and fear are always together. If you don't have fear, you don't need courage. Courage is something inside us that makes us push through fear and doubt. It helps us to do the things that seem a little risky. Sometimes, it only lasts for a few seconds, but it's long enough to be brave. Something else to know about courage. It takes courage to have character. Sometimes you don't see the results right away. Making a difference may take a little time, but if you had courage to do it, you will see a result. Our champions of character show character and courage every day. So let's hear from them right now. In the video you just saw, it asks, uh, what is courage? And, you know, to me, courage is just being able to do your own thing, even when it's not the popular choice. All throughout school, you know, there are kids that aren't necessarily doing things that I agreed with, you know, whether it was doing some drugs that I maybe didn't agree with, or whether it was just making choices, being mean to people, just stuff I didn't agree with. And it took courage to, you know, go away from those, you know, you know, kids I was friends with since elementary school, I decided that they just weren't good for me anymore. And I just didn't want to, uh, 
to take those chances with them anymore. So I just, it took a lot of courage to do that for me. There's a lot of ways that you can see courage, but the one that I think I see the most is it looks like through leadership. I think that's a big, a big one for courage. Um, a lot of people, you can do it in a lot of ways. You can speak, you can talk to others about how to be a leader. But one thing I think is most important is people need to see you leading by example, not just by your words. It's that's, I think is the most powerful way to be a leader. Where do you find courage? You can find courage all around you and even in yourself. I had to use courage this year to step out of my comfort zone and go out for a sport that I never thought I would do, which is girls wrestling. I had to find the courage inside of me to go to practice every day and to step on the mat and do what I'm told to and perform to the best that I can. You guys can find courage in yourselves right now. You have to find the courage to raise your hand in class to answer the question, even though you may not know if you have the right answer or not, still find in yourself that you can raise your hand even if you're right or wrong, because you're still gonna learn from that mistake or what you're wearing for the day. You have to find courage and trust yourself that you look good and have the courage to stand up to like your friends for that. Do you need courage? For me, I needed courage to reach my goals. One of my goals has always been to be able to play college sports. Since I was little, I always wanted to play either baseball or football in college. And when I was really young, I wanted to play at the University of Michigan because that's the school I was always a fan of. Uh, as I got older, it took a lot of courage to realize that that might not be true and that I had to change my goals, but I still had to try, strive for them. And in striving for them, I became a better high school athlete and a better person because I had the courage to go for my goals. How do I know if I have courage? The main way I think you know if you have courage is if you constantly find yourself pushing your comfort zone, uh, reaching out for new things or new people. Um, one of the main ways I've, I've pushed my comfort zone is through sports and wrestling is always pushing your boundaries, trying to get better in everything that you do. And sometimes we all fail and I know it's not fun to fail, but that's how we learn and that's how we get better. And that's, that's how we push our comfort zone and just become better people. Everybody needs courage. You can think of like Tom Brady. He is in the NFL, but he still needs courage to go on the football field every day and work hard. Taylor Swift is an amazing singer and songwriter. She still needs the courage to go out there and perform her songs in front of a live art audience. I have to have courage because I don't like spiders, so I have to step outside of my comfort zone there and kill a spider, which may sound silly, but it is true. And even though you guys are young, you still need courage, and it is a big part of life to step outside of your comfort zone and use the courage. Character on Track. At Character on Track, we believe every student and adult has the ability to have and show good character. We have five marks of character we focus on. Trustworthiness, respect, accountability, citizenship, and kindness. These are parts of your character, but do you know what it takes to have good character? It takes courage to have character. We all want a school where we feel safe, where we can ask questions and talk about our feelings. We all want a school where you get to be you. To do that, you have to stand up for what is right, be open to new ideas, and be ready to listen to others' point of view, even if you might not agree. Do you know what it takes to make your school be like this? It takes kids with good character and kids who are brave to do the right thing. It takes courage to have character. Inside each one of us is a leader. Maybe you're not the leader right now, but your time will come soon. Being a leader takes character and it takes courage. Our character will help us decide what's right and what's wrong, and that helps us make good decisions. Do you have good character? Are you trustworthy? Do you show respect all the time? Are you accountable because people can count on you? 
Are you a good citizen who wants to work toward making your school and your community a better place? And are you kind to other people? If you are, then you are a kid of character. And that's a great thing, but that's not all. Do you have the courage to have good character? Let's go back to our champions of character for more on courage, character, and leadership. It takes courage to have character. One of the biggest things with character is being trustworthy. Right now, you might lose a friend or get in a little bit of trouble with your teacher, but later on, you might get fired from your job, fail a class, or you could even get sent to jail if you do something quite illegal. Trustworthiness to me is being able to depend on you at any time. If I ask, someone, if I ask my friend that, hey, I need you to pick me up, my car isn't working, I can trust that they're gonna pick me up. If I call my friend and he says he's gonna pick me up and he never shows up and I can't trust him, then we're not as good of friends. It's the same thing with your parents. Your parents trust you to do things. Your teachers trust you to do things. And if you break their trust, then they no longer trust you and then you no longer have the freedoms that you have, whether it's being able to stay out with your friends or go to someone's house. If you break their trust, then you no longer have the freedoms that you have. One of the biggest parts of character is respect. We've all heard about the golden rule to treat others the way you want to be treated, and this can come in many forms. Uh, respecting your teachers, that can be just paying attention in class, making eye contact with them so they know that you're listening, and respecting their time, getting your homework done on time. It also can come with respecting your classmates. You can respect your classmates by treating them fairly, respecting their items, not hurting them, not hurting their stuff. And another form of respect can be respecting each other's judgment, even if you don't agree with it. That can be with referees of a sports game. If you don't agree with their call, you still have to respect it and you can't argue. You can't get mad at them. You have to respect that. And same with teachers and parents. If you don't agree with what they're saying, that they, you still have to respect that and go along with it. Accountable means that you're showing up on time, you're prepared when you need to be, and even for like you guys, something that you do probably every day that you don't even know, you turn your homework in on time, which is showing that you're accountable and that your teachers can trust you. What I do that I show that's accountable is I'll show up on time to my job, I'm early to practice, I'm here on time for school. I get my work done on time. And people can count on you if you they know you're accountable. So that means some of the teachers will leave the classrooms and they'll say, hey, Rachel, you're in charge because they know that they can count on me and that nothing is gonna happen when they're gone. Another important part of character is citizenship. I think an important part of citizenship to me is following the rules. The rules protect you and guide you. And as you get older, there isn't anyone there to really watch you. Right now you have a teacher that's there to guide you and as you get older, you don't. A big thing that I see a lot of students, you know, not listening is on cheating. In high school, you'll get homework and you'll get sent home. And it's very easy to just ask your friend, hey, what's the answers and, and not learn to do it. But I noticed that those kids that do that don't do very, very well on the test. They don't get the grades that they're always wanting. And when you're younger, you know, you have a, a teacher there that's gonna watch you and say, hey, you can't be cheating, don't do that, eyes on your own paper. But when you get into high school, if a teacher catches you doing that, you get a zero on the test. And a lot of times those tests in certain classes, you can't pass if you get a zero on the test because it makes your grade too low to pass. Um, another part of character that's, or of citizenship that's really important to me is volunteering. I encourage all of you guys to go out and volunteer, even if it's just, you know, helping your neighbor shovel their sidewalk if they're unable to, or if it's going to a food banking, helping distribute food, you know, anything that you can do to help other people's lives, not only helps them, but it really helps you. It makes you feel good about yourself. And that's one of the, you know, big ways that I make myself feel better is by going and volunteering. Another big part of character is kindness. It's really easy to be kind to your friends, your best friends, your buddies, but what's hard is being kind to others than your friends. So that can come in forms like sitting down with someone you never talked to at lunch or playing with them at recess or smiling and saying hello to them in the halls. 
having conversations with them and asking them how they are. That's what I think is the hardest part of kindness, but it's very important because not everybody gets shown affection that the same way you do. So it's, it's important to show them affection the same way that you do to your and best Seth friends. And I just talked to you about trustworthiness, respect, accountability, good citizenship, and kindness. You guys do this thing. You do all these things every day. You may not know it, but you do. And what I would like you guys to work on is take one of the five things I just listed and try to focus on that for like one day. Because then once you start doing it more often, you're going to be doing it without even knowing. So just take little tiny steps on improving all these things and you'll be amazing. Character on Track. It takes courage to have character. Today we talked about character and courage. We found out what courage is, and we also found out what it takes to have good character. Now what can you do? Well, first of all, look for opportunities to use your character every day. Maybe you remember a time in your past when you didn't stand up for what was right. Hey, we all make mistakes, but your courage gives you the power to do the right thing right now. How about your circle of friends? Do these people have the kind of character you'd like to see in yourself? Or maybe you've got some role models, like the champions of character from your school, and you can admire and learn from what they do. Put your character into action. Good character is built on what you do. It takes courage to have character. And the more you use your courage and your character, the stronger it will become. Now it's up to you. Do you have what it takes? Let's hear from our champions one more time. Guys, you know, something I want you to take away today is that what you do does have impact. You know, if you see your friend down on it, down and, you know, you're sad and you tell him, hey, man, how you doing? You know, you talk to him, make him feel better. That is a big deal to a lot of people. You know, I've had bad days, you know, and I'm sure all of you guys have had bad days. And when somebody says something, whether it's your friend, whether it's your teacher, whether it's your parents, they just pick you up a little bit. It can change your whole mood of your day. And it's just really important to do those kinds of things. You know, it's, it's just like, you know, you could be standing in line at lunch and you don't know who's sad or who's happy. And if you just smile at everyone, if you just tell everyone, you know, hey, how's it going? You know, I like your shoes. I like your shirt. You say those kinds of things. It really builds people up. And that's extremely important. OK, so the main thing I want you guys to take away from today is that you guys are not too young to make a difference. I think a lot of us think that we'll wait till we're an adult or wait till we're older, like a teacher to be able to be a leader, but you guys can be leaders right now. Uh, we notice what you do, your teachers notice what you do. It's not, just, it's not just us being leaders, but you guys can be leaders within your classroom right now. You're not too young, guys. I would like you guys to take away from this today is to step outside of your comfort zone and try new things. It may be scary and it's probably hard because I can tell you from experience, it is very hard to do something that isn't in your comfort zone to do. So just do little steps, try to talk to new people. That's even out of your comfort zone. I have to step out of that to talk to some kids that I don't ever talk to. So stepping outside of that and breaking down like the wall that you have, take that leap of faith and try something new in your life because you may find out that you like something that you never tried before. So find the courage, take that step, and you could find new things that you would love to do for the rest of your life. Thanks for watching our presentation. We hope you learned a lot. And remember, it, it takes, takes courage, courage to have character. character. We'd like to express our sincere appreciation to all of our champions of character who helped us with this project. Also, our champions and all of us at Character on Track would like you to remember your character not only tells us who you are, but who you are going to become.